Okay, you guys, I wanted to show you something how air guns compare to bullets in some ways. Um, if you all know this ammo right here, this is called Hornady Critical Duty. This is a standard pressure 135 grain flex lock, lock bullet. And um, this bullet compared to Critical Defense is quite different because of one thing, and that is the addition of antimony into the lead or the recipe of the lead if you want to call it that, to give it a little more hardness so it can reach them protocols by say like the FBI or law enforcement for your glass, plywood, drywall, uh, car door metal and stuff like that. So here it is here and the only difference between this one and the critical duty is uh, no critical defense sorry about that Critical defense is a softer lead. Critical duty here is the harder antimony lead uh, to drive through the bar barriers and the protocols that they have uh, for their requirements as far as penetration, expansion, and all that. Now this one um, online, it does show that it expands. It doesn't expand the most for a 9mm, but it expands enough. And then the rest is dedicated to driving through the barriers. Um, and that's kind of good because it's a dual purpose round. A lot of people were thinking, well, this was developed for law enforcement back in the day. You know, they probably had it first. But the thing is, when you think about it, citizens um, are going to need to defend themselves. Sometimes, let's say there's a vehicle and somebody wants to kidnap somebody. You're going to have to shoot into that vehicle. You know, if it's one of your family members or something and somebody's going to drive off and do a kidnapping or whatever, you may have to defend yourself and your family <clears throat> chopping through some barriers. So that's one of the reasons why these rounds are nice to consider sometimes, depending on your carry condition and stuff like that, where you're at and what you're up against. But uh, it's, it's one of many good types of ammo. And to compare it to air guns, in air guns, we've always had a couple different kinds of pellets. We've always had like the soft lead, which uh, tends to mushroom out and it's real soft. And you can tell the skirts sometimes in here. Most of them are okay, but some of them get dented. And the whole purpose of antimony adding to lead pellets was to keep the skirts from denting. But when you make the pellet hard, you don't get expansion. So the only way to get expansion is you have to have speed to get the expansion. So something like this Crossman Premier Piranha here, this will not expand unless you give it the speed it needs. And you can tell the difference when you have antimony, it's more of a blackish color to the pellet. And none of the skirts are dented because of the fact that uh, it's got the antimony to protect it for shipment so they can bang these around all day. They're not going to get damaged, whereas something like these match pellets here probably would. <clears throat> so let me show you what I'm talking about, antimony, about a couple pellets I shot, and I'll tell you the foot-pounds of energy, and tell you about how much energy you need to expand them. But just one moment here, I'm going to grab three pellets that were fired into clay. Okay, so the first pellet, we're going to compare it with the Daisy 880, which is a 10-pump air gun, multi-pump. And I'm going to show you the results of the Daisy 880. And you can see we don't have much expansion. We don't have much expansion at all. This is shot in clay. So there's the Daisy 880. This is about 7 to 9 foot-pounds here. Now let's, let's jack it up to 13 foot-pounds. The Gamo Silent Cat brake barrel right, uh, air gun. The Gamo Silent Cat, 13 foot-pounds, somewhere around there. You can see we did get some expansion on that one. But the Hatsan 135 and, 13, and 177, the Hatsan 135 air rifle, you can tell here we got full expansion. And you can tell it looks like a little flower there, just like bullets, hollow point bullets. 
and this is antimony but it's still expanded because 23 foot pounds for a 177 pellet is really a lot of power because the pellet is so small this is only 10 and a half grains and to have 23 foot pounds behind it even if it's antimony it's gonna it's gonna open up so guys have to remember with air, air gun pellets you have to remember um, performance air gun pellets like hollow points and special tips and stuff like that you have to remember you have to have enough speed to open them up so you can't just go get the pellet and shoot it and then tell everybody online it doesn't work when you're shooting it in an air rifle that it's not meant for so these crossman pellets were meant for their brake barrels and stuff like that the higher powered brake barrels so if you have about 17 foot pounds or 15 even you're going to get some expansion out of these so once again these are antimony so just wanted to let you guys get an idea of what it's like in the bullet world and the pellet world when it comes to ammunition antimony antimony here and we've got standard lead right here which is a soft German or English type lead so thank you very much for watching you guys